By age 10, little Boo Maddox has endured more medical treatments than most people will see in a lifetime, 75 surgeries. At the beginning, it was terrifying. Boo came down with H1N1, the swine flu, when he was six. The virus took, um, attacked his lungs. His lungs put him on the life support machine. Boo then suffered multiple organ failure. His heart, lungs, kidneys, and other organs shut down. He was in a local hospital for 501 days. You just had to take day by day, minute by minute, when he was like really sick. There was doctors and people that was telling us that, you know, we needed to um, unplug him because it was just going to be so terrible, but we just uh, knew that we couldn't. When Boo finally left the hospital, the situation was grim. Life support and so many surgeries meant major complications. He needed a kidney transplant that doctors said was just too risky. Boo was suffering. He just said, you know, ask me to do him a favor, and I said, what? And he said, will you let me go to heaven? His parents, Robert and Renee, prayed that someone would figure out how to help their little boy. Their search led them to Mayo Clinic. Me and Boo was sitting in the room, and the door opened, and a strange man walked in we'd never seen before. And he said, my name is Mikhail Prieto. And he's the bravest kid I have ever met in my life. He's gone through all this. He looked pretty desperate multiple times. He, uh, he didn't look like he wasn't going to make it multiple times. But he came through it. Transplant surgeon Dr. Mikel Prieto led the team of experts that cared for Boo. The group included heart, lung, pancreas, kidney, GI specialists, and others. Putting a kidney transplant on somebody who can barely breathe, who has constant severe abdominal pain, and who has like, occluded cava where the blood flow from the legs cannot get back to the heart, it's almost a failed enterprise. They did not give up. They felt a moral responsibility to help little Boo. After many months in the hospital and many procedures that included repairing the vena cava and taking down a fistula in his arm for dialysis that was causing pulmonary hypertension, Dr. Prieto told Boo's family that their little boy was ready for a kidney transplant. And I said, you want me to hug you now or hug you now or later? All right, Boo, you can do this. Renee was the donor. She gave her son one of her own kidneys. And now, a year later, Boo is back. Boo's dad, Robert, says it was his family's belief in God that gave them the strength to make it through this difficult journey. So we just uh, kept hoping and believing, and God kept answering prayers.